smith trigger using operational amplifier so it is a very interesting topic and we shall draw this circuit diagrams on piece piece we shall do the simulation and we shall work accordingly so here is the what is a smith trigger so we can go go through this text so a smith trigger is a comparator circuit with hysteresis implemented by applying positive feedback to the non inverting input of a comparator or differential amplifier it is an active circuit which converts an analog input signal to a digital output signal so that is the most important a smith trigger can have a single level so here you are having there is a single threshold we are having so when this analog voltage is going above this threshold value then the output will be high and when this analog voltage is going below the threshold value then this output will be low and when it is again going up then the output will be high and when it when it is going again low below this threshold value then output will be low in this way the output waveform will be obtained so from the analog input signal we are going to get the digital output digital signal as output but when whenever we are having two threshold values that is the upper threshold and lower threshold then the output will be looking like this so this is our upper threshold value voltage and this is our lower threshold voltage okay now see when this when this analog signal is going above this upper threshold value then output will be high but when it is going down below this upper threshold value output will be kept high until and unless this analog signal is going below the lower threshold value then the output will be zero accordingly so output will be low accordingly so in this way this digital signal will be obtained in the output so now this is a comparator we are having this one as v in this is the vcc plus and this is our vcc minus and it has been connected the inverting terminal has been connected with the ground so when this v in will be above this ground voltage then as it is a comparator so it will be comparing with the other input voltage so here it is a ground so when v in will be above this ground voltage output will be vcc plus and when this v in will be below this ground voltage that means when the v in will be negative then the output will be vcc minus we have shown you here so along the x axis we have plotted v in along the y axis we have plotted our v out so now what will happen when the v in is getting positive when the v in is getting positive then the v out is vcc plus but when this v in is getting negative this is my zero so when the v in is getting negative then vcc minus will be the output of the uh, of the circuit so in this way this is the operation of a comparator has been explained okay now this is the operational amplifier here we are having this v in this is my point a so at a we are considering the voltage is v a r2 is there this is output and this is the feedback path we are having this is ground that means the inverting terminal has been connected to ground so as it is ground so this particular point will be the virtual ground so virtual ground means here we can consider the voltage as zero so how to write you see the current which will be flowing through r1 so here the va will be zero in that case so when the current will be flowing through r1 that current cannot flow through the operational amplifier why because operational amplifier is having infinite input impedance so the current will be flowing through this feedback path as well so here is the respective here is the respective equation for us so v in minus v a by r1 so v in minus v a by r1 so the current whatever is going to flow through this r1 resistance will be flowing through this r2 so v a minus v out by r2 so here this v a is equal to 0 as i told you it is having the voltage which is a virtual ground and that's why the voltage will be zero in that case so that is v so now go going for the simplification we are getting this one so v in is equal to minus r1 by r2 that is v out okay now here we have put we are putting this r1 is equal to 1k and r2 is equal to 2k and v out is equal to plus minus 12 volt in this case so v in will be minus 1 by 2 this one so plus minus 6 volt accordingly
So now this is the hysteresis, hysteresis curve. You see, when the V in is is below six volt, when V in is below six volt, so we, we are not cross, crossing the upper threshold, then the output will be zero. But when this V in will be just at six or more than six volt, then the output will be plus twelve volt. Okay, done. So now when the V in is coming to zero again, the plus twelve volt will be maintained. So now when the V in is going below minus 6 volt, then the output will be about minus 12 volt. So it is working in this way and thus the graph has been plotted. So let us simulate all this on our PSPY software and let us see really such graphs are available uh, as a simulation output or not. Remember here we are plotting V in across X axis and V out across Y axis accordingly. So, this is the respective piecewise uh, circuit for this particular uh, for the simulation of the Smith trigger. So, what are the parts we required here? The parts are this is our UA741. So, that is the respective operational amplifier IC number 741. This is the resistance Vsin and this is our VDC and here we will be having our ground earth. So, it is Vsin actually. So, analysis setup transient is print step 0 nanosecond and final time is 3 milliseconds. So, that is the analysis setup transient and this is the parameter whatever we have set for Vsin. So, now let us go for the next slide where we have shown you that how the simulation output will be obtained. So, now here you see this is my minus 20 volt. So, this is my 0 volt. So, this is my minus 5 volt minus 10 volt, minus 15 volt and this is the minus 20 volt accordingly. So, here you see when it when my when my input is going that is the V in is going below minus 6 volt then we are getting this low voltage and that is our minus 12 volt accordingly. And now when this V in is going above this 6 volt then my output is going for the plus 12 volt accordingly. So, in this way the circuit is the output is working the simulation output is working. So, now how to get the hysteresis curve? You see here is the hysteresis curve. So, here we have plotted this one as V in and here we have plotted this one as V out. So, we are plotting this V in and V out and this graph has been obtained. So, this is our hysteresis curve. So, it will be a fantastic experiment if you do this one you will get such curve in front of you, graph in front of you in the simulation. So, now let us go for this one. So, here non-symmetrical inverted Smith trigger. So, this is the respective circuit connections we are having. Okay. Now, see when the V out is equal to 0 volt. So, I am making this one as 0 volt. So, V out is equal to 0 volt. So, this is my 0. So, this V f, V ref and this is 0 and this is also 0. So, we can consider this one. So, R 3 is connected with the ground and this V A is the common point and R 2 is having this V out is equal to 0. So, R 2 is coming with this V out is equal to 0. So, these two resistances will be working in parallel and this R 1 will be working in the series with that. Okay. Now, then what will be the voltage at this V A? So, what will be the voltage at the point V A? So, voltage at the point V A is that it is very simple is that it is R 2, R 3 they will be in parallel and the total resistance in this path is R1 plus R2 parallel R3. So, this V ref, this V ref by this equivalent resistance will be the current and the voltage whatever you are going to get is this one. So, R2 parallel R3 by R1 plus R2 parallel R3. So, we know that the equivalent resistance that is V ref by equivalent resistance will be the current and what will be the voltage into the equivalent resistance of this part. So, in this way we are getting this one. So, V A is equal to this V ref. So, here if we put the values like this, I am going to get V A is equal to 1.66 volt. Okay. Now, here we are going, going to get this one. So, here we are having this V out is equal to 5 volt. So, here we are considering this one as 5 volt and V ref is also 5 volt. We have written this one. So, what is happening? You see 
this resistance is connected with the 5 volt and this resistance is connected with the 5 volt and here at from the junction point R3 is connected with the ground voltage. So, we have written this one. So, these two resistances are in parallel and this resistance will be the series in series with the equivalent resistance. So, to find this VA we are finding this one that is R3 plus R1 parallel R2 and what is the what is the voltage across it. So, R3 V ref. So, that is the equation. So, if you put these values there in this respective equation, so we are getting V A is equal to 3.33 volt. So, now we have constructed the same circuit in the piece wise. So, this is the respective circuit and this these are the parts we required. These are the respective parameters we set for the vsin and this is the analysis setup transient. So, here we are getting the respective graph here. So, here you can find that this is my respective graph. So, when it is crossing some some certain threshold value then the then the output is high and when it, it is crossing some threshold value then the output is getting low in that case. So, in this way the output waveform has been plotted. So, here we are plotting this this one as that is a that is a respective voltage we are plotting here and this respective outputs we are getting here. So, this is my time which whatever we have plotted along the x axis and these two voltages we have plotted along the y axis at the same time. So, in this way we are getting this simulated simulated output. So, I think it would be better to have a good conception over this uh, circuit drawing and the simulation output. Let us go for one practical demonstration with the piece by software directly and that will give us more clarity in the understanding. Please watch the demonstration video where we will be showing you how to construct these circuits and the respective simulation outputs. We shall go for a practical demonstration on circuit design for Smith trigger with operational amplifier. Here we will be requiring operational amplifier, we will be using 741 and then resistances are required, V sign will be required, V DC will be required and ground earth will be required. So, let me go for the circuit design. Now, let us go for the parameter setting. So, parameter has been set for V sign. Now, here we are making this as 2K. So, this is the circuit which we have defined. So, now let us go for one ground earth for this voltage source also. Circuit design has been completed. Now, we shall go for one voltage or level marker here. So, here I have taken this one, I have put one on this V out, another one set V in. 
now i shall go for the simulation output so adjusting the transient parameters making this one say at 3 millisecond now let us go for the simulation so this is the required simulation output you can easily find that this v is this one and this is our v out so this v in you are getting this v in and the required speed trigger output that is the v out we are observing which we discuss in our powerpoint presentation so now we shall change this graph and we shall make this one as here we shall be plotting i'm just changing this we shall be plotting as v in So this is my axis variable. I'm plotting this one as VIN. And here along the y-axis we'll be plotting only the V out. So this is the respective curve we are having. This graph is showing that. It is a hysteresis graph we are getting and the curve has been plotted against V in and V out. If you plot V in and V out then the curve will be looking like this. So in this way it is operating. Now let us go for the simulation. Here we put one voltage or level marker that is our at V out and another one we have put this one at say V in. Okay. Now we are clicking on this simulation. And the simulation output has been obtained. This red color line is showing the V out and green color line is showing the V in. So now you see in this output waveform, whatever we expected, we explained in, in our presentation, we are getting the same waveform. Now let me go for the other graph. So here I'm deleting V in. So I'm selecting V in and pressing delete key. So only the V out is there. And along x axis, I want to plot V in. So double clicking on the x axis and then axis variable is there. So I require the V in only. So I'm going for this one and going for OK. Going for OK. And this is the required hysteresis, hysteresis curve you are finding on the screen. So plotting V in along x axis and V out along y axis. We are getting this particular graph ready for us and this particular graph was also expected in our discussion when we had our powerpoint presentation so in this way we have solved this one now we shall go for non-symmetrical inverted speed trigger circuit design so that will be a uh, another circuit so let me do some changes in my respective circuit here so here are the changes So it should be 10k and let it be say R3. I'm just making this one R3. I'm just making the same circuit which we had in our PowerPoint presentation. So that's why I'm changing the level of the resistances also accordingly. Okay, so this is my R2 here. 
so here we are having this vein connected here so 10k r3 this one which you had so this is my r1 10k this is a vref i should make this one as vref and of 5 volt okay so now this is our v out we are having this one as v out and we are going to put another va there so i'm making this one as va and putting another voltage marker here so in this way the circuit has been constructed and vin parameters we have set already okay so we have made it so all the levels whatever we had in our presentation we kept the same so that you can have a better understanding on them so now let me go for the simulation here so if you go for the simulation i think i required another voltage marker there so that will be at vin so that will bring that variation of vin yes so this is the required waveform which was expected in the output for the smith trigger for non symmetrical smith trigger and here you see this blue color uh, line is showing the v out and v in is the green color line and this is my red color line is the v r3 one so that is the va in that case so in this way i'm getting this output accordingly so if we if we shift this this is the, this is our va so accordingly we are getting this so va is this one v in this one and this is our v out in this way the output waveform of the circuit has been tested thoroughly and what was expected we are getting the same output so the circuit is working fine so if you are having any kind of doubts difficulties issues please leave your comments in the comment block and thanks for watching